Drake's second studio album, Take Care, changed rap music forever. By merging R&B and rap seamlessly, Drake created a new sound that would help shape the sounds of 2010's hip hop. And a huge reason that this album is so amazing is its legendary production. The concept for the album was heavily inspired by track two on his so far gone mixtape, Houston, Lana Vegas. Hey there, pretty girl, you know. This track was produced solely by Drake's close friend, Noah Forty. And after working with a ton of different producers on his previous projects, Drake decided to build Take Care very closely and exclusively with Forty. And together, they crafted the so-called underwater sound we all know and love today. It was just me and Drake wanting to do something different and to make a sound that we felt like was unique and it really resonated with people. So today, we're gonna go in and break down the iconic production techniques on Drake's Take Care and make our own Take Care inspired beat. One of the main instruments used on Take Care is an acoustic piano, which can be heard on tracks like Marvin's Room, Over My Dead Body, Take Care, The Real Her, and Look What You've Done. But something about those piano chords on Look What You've Done just hit my soul different every time that I hear them. It's like 09 in your basement and I'm in love with Nebby. And I still love it, but it felt These keys definitely sound like they were recorded on a real piano. So to get a sound similar, I sat down at my acoustic upright piano and played this simple idea. Now that's sounding pretty smooth and there's one chord inside that progression that really gives it that soulful and R&B sound. Let's break that down in MIDI. So I've recreated the main chord progression inside of this MIDI here. And as you can tell, the chords themselves aren't too complicated. But a big reason these chords sound so soulful and give off that R&B kind of feeling is because they're seventh chords. And what a seventh chord is, is a four note chord. Right here, this is a B major seventh chord. And if it was just a B major chord, this note wouldn't be on top. But we add this extension note, which makes it a seventh chord. And this is what gives us that smooth R&B sound. Then for the next chord, we go down in the scale to a B flat minor seventh, which sounds like this. Sounds good. But the key to this progression to make it feel so soulful and give it that R&B feeling is to take this middle note right here in this B flat minor seven and put it out of key one note and listen how that changes it. and then it drops into the final chord. And then we come back and do it again here. We have the normal B flat minor seventh right here, and then it goes into the B dominant seven chord, which is what this called when this note goes up one out of key. And it just gives a nice smooth vibe. And it resolves nicely on that last chord. If you listen closely to Look What You've Done, you can hear that it sounds like there's some ambience and background noise inside the sample. And this really makes it feel a lot more raw and not so clean. It feels like you're getting transported to the place that they actually recorded this piano, which gives it so much more atmosphere. So to replicate that feeling, I grabbed a couple textures and layered that in with the piano. Now that we've got a solid foundation for our track, one of my favorite songs on Take Care is The Ride. And for me at least, the main reason this song sticks out so much is those angelic vocals performed by The Weeknd. I really love how raw and emotional these vocals sound. Almost like you can't really tell what they're saying, but you can feel the emotion inside of them. So to replicate that without using any samples, I went into the Elements of R&B kit, which has over a thousand crazy original R&B vocals. And I found this super raw and emotional male vocal that works super well with our piano. Now, this is definitely feeling very nice and soulful and giving off those Take Care vibes, but one of the most iconic parts of Take Care is that filtered underwater sound that 40 created. The reason this filtered and underwater sound works so well with Drake is because by filtering and cutting out all of the high end, 40 left a ton of room for Drake's vocals to shine and be the star of the show. So instead of focusing on my music, I was carving out an entire space in the frequencies. So the artist occupies the top end completely, almost exclusively, and and 
the music sits in the bottom end. So since the first part of our beat is completely unfiltered, let's make the second section filtered out to leave a ton of space for Drake's vocal. To do this, I grab the piano and vocal and reverse them, which is another thing that's signature to 40 and Drake's sound. And then I added this plugin called Decimort 2. This plugin actually down samples the audio instead of just filtering out the high end with an EQ, which makes it so the high end frequencies never even existed, leaving the most room possible for Drake's vocal on top. This is what that sounds like. Now that we filtered out the sample, it feels super empty, a little bit too empty if you ask me. So to help fill it out, I wanted to add some super vibey and smooth synth pads, just like the ones on Doing It Wrong. To get a similar sound, I went into the elements of R&B Analog Lab Bank and grabbed this synth pad. After copying the same chord progression that we used on the piano, we get this. Another signature element of Drake's Take Care production is 40's use of those deep, gritty synth basses, just like the one on cameras. So I went back into the analog lab bank and grabbed this clean R&B sub preset and laid down this simple bass line following the root notes of the chords. Now, melodically, we don't need to do too much more to this beat because we want to leave space for a vocal to be the star of the show. However, on the outro of Headlines, you can hear Noah Forty's signature synth lead that has become a staple to Drake's R&B sound. There's a similar synth lead inside of Elements of R&B, so I went back into Analog Lab and grabbed the slide through lead. And then I freestyled a lead line on my MIDI keyboard for the second verse of our beat. That sounds sick, but if you listen closely on headlines, it almost sounds like there's a low lead and a high lead playing on top of each other. To get a similar effect, I added a half time on our lead and turned the mix down so you can hear the high and the low playing at the same time. Now that we got the lead out of the way, one of my favorite moments on Take Care is the acoustic piano outro on Marvin's Room. That piano sounds crazy, and there's definitely a lot more going into it than just playing some simple chords. So for our beat, I took the same progression that I played on the piano before, but I played some more in-between riffs and runs to give it some more flavor for the outro of the beat. And for one final touch to the outro, I took some inspiration from the piano on Over My Dead Body. If you listen closely to it, you can hear that there's a flanger on the piano that really gives it this unique warped kind of sound. So after adding a flanger to our outro piano, this is what we get. Now, another iconic part of Take Care's production are those unique drums. And we're gonna dive into those in just a second, but before that, if you like this beat so far, every single sound inside of it is from the elements of R&B kit. And trust me, if you like R&B, you need this kit. It's got over a thousand R&B vocals, live piano progressions, midis, presets, one shots, and even over 200 insane R&B loops just like these. Ooh, lately I've been dreaming of you. It 
be the first link in the description down below and for a limited time it's on a big discount so make sure that you don't miss out on that. Anyways, we can't talk about Take Care's production without mentioning Noah Forty's iconic filter drums on Marvin's Room. I'm just saying you could do better. And now in Forty's interview with Native Instruments, he said that he often just uses a kick and a tom in his drum programming. This minimalistic approach to drums leaves a ton of room for Drake to be the star of the show, which is one of the main reasons why Take Care is such an amazing album. So for the first section of our beat, I did the same exact thing. I grabbed a kick and then I grabbed a tom to replace a snare with a super simple pattern. We could leave the drums like this for the rest of the track and just let Drake go in, but another thing that I loved on songs like Shot For Me is how the drums go from being super simple and dumbed down into a more high energy and built out hook section. Made it, yeah I made it, first I made you, you So to do something similar, I went in and grabbed a crispy hi-hat and laid down this super simple pattern that has some sections where the hi-hats speed up kind of like on Shot For Me. And to give it a more human feeling, I have the hi-hats hitting at different volumes to kind of sound like they were live played. <laughs> Then I wanted to find a more hard rap snare like the one on Underground Kings to help bring that R&B and rap fusion that Take Care does so well. Bridge over trouble water, ice in my muddy water, rich out for me. So I grabbed this hard snare from the elements of R&B drum kit and laid down this pattern. Next up, I added two open hats like the drums on Look What You've Done, and then I added a snap drenched in reverb to end off every single eight bars, similar to the snap on Shot For Me. And together, this is what all the drums sound like. And now all together with our sample and a Drake acapella to put this to the real test, this is what our final product sounds like. If you liked the loop and the sounds that I used in this beat, make sure to click the first link down below to check out Elements of R&B. It's by far one of my best kits that I've ever put out, so you're definitely not gonna regret checking it out. But anyways, thanks for watching this one. Peace.